expectations from teachers by the students and their families hello i am professor vishala patna today is raksha bandhan there was a request from newly recruited teachers lecturers as well as from students to talk about who makes an effective teacher for having worked in this field of education for nearly 40 years especially in higher education and child education i thought on this auspicious day i must address the teachers at different educational levels whoever is whether they are school teachers or high school teachers college or university teachers teachers must be always focusing on their self improvement and self refinement it is not the syllabus just changing it that we have to refine ourselves to discharge our duties very nicely because we are accountable for students total development students achievement now as well as in their future because of that all the teachers must have a b c d e f a is ability to discharge our duties very well we should be affectionate to the students and also we should be authoritative authoritative means having proper control on them and also giving and a freedom to them there is a very delicate and good balance between control and freedom in authoritativeness second is b teachers must have must maintain balance between theory and practicals not too much focus on theory or not on practicals there should be enough balance between theory and practicals as well as they must complete 100% syllabus some chapters may be requiring more focus some chapters may be requiring just orientation to that concept next is in this b there should be balance between attachment and detachment with the students too much attachment too much detachment both are dangerous it is our responsibility to see that students depend more on themselves you see any great person who ever depend on their self only become stronger more empowered more successful that is why when we are grooming the students see that one there is a balance between your attachment and detachment with the students d devotion teachers devotion is so important when i say devotion here not only performing our duties in the time bound beyond the time bound beyond the working days beyond the working hours if we can spare some time for refining students concepts for enhancing their total development enhancing their professional skills so devotion demands for that another d here is discipline discipline is not just prescribing or subscribing punishments no the true meaning of discipline is consistently educating the students what is right behavior what is a wrong behavior what is a right act and what is a wrong act when are they adopt wrong behavior when now they go on wrong path when now they do wrong acts suitable explanation suitable guidance suitable punishments are required so students should be motivated to have self discipline self dependency so that they they are the people who get the benefit of self discipline so we have to keep on talking to them that one discipline is not for others benefit it is one's own benefit it is for one's own 
welfare. E is energy. Teachers must have physical energy, mental energy for performing their roles in an effective way, in a best way. Because voice quality is very important. Our voice should reach the last student. Whether it is a small class or a big class or a huge classroom, our voice should reach the till the last student. If you have voice disorders, defects, you must have, you must purchase a mobile speaker or mobile microphone so that to compensate with your defect in the voice. But we cannot afford to make the students to lose the class or to lose the information because our voice quality is very poor. Energy here, teachers must eat well. If at all they are on the fast, they must have energy foods so that they have fuel in their body just like fuel in the vehicle. If it is not there, vehicle cannot run. When we are performing our duties, we must have good energy levels. Efficiency. Another E here is efficiency. Efficiency is in the time bound, teaching them right concepts, covering the syllabus in the prescribed time limit what a teacher has to complete the course or particular subject. If we are not efficient, what happens is the students will be the losers because we will not be able to cover the syllabus. So we have to be very efficient. For efficiency, one must have sensory integration. All the five senses should be nicely integrated so that efficiency can be attained by either by the teacher or by the student. F is focus on total development of the students. Education is for the development of the student character, their wholesome development to make them have proper knowledge and skills in the what are the subject, what are the grade they are in and empowering them to become financially sufficient individuals in future. They sh after particular level of education, students should be able to acquire good jobs or should be able to take up their entrepreneurship to earn enough to lead a dignified life. So here, for a dignified life, when we are giving dignity, it is not just the jobs. When we are dealing with the students also, we should not take their surname. Address the student by the name. All of us, when we pray God also, we address God by their name. So, uh, addressing a student with the name, dealing with them, using proper words when we are talking to them, giving them place when they come into your room, giving them make them sit and talk to you. These few things, little things, make students to feel that they are given due respect. So A, B, C, D, E, F are very important. Teachers with the now teaching profession has become very challenging because when we were students, when we were teaching students, the resources were only two, either the teachers or the books. Today, there are so many alternatives are available in information technology. So the teachers, even though we are good at subject, we had to upgrade ourselves with the available technologies because every week new information technologies are coming into the market. So we should not get intimidated we should not develop that fear that one, I will not be able to learn. We, if we make effort and if we are comfortable, if we are optimistic and in a relaxed way, if we try to learn it, we can learn it. And now I will be dealing with what type of preparations, what type of care teachers and lecturers should take to reach out to the students in a proper way in this lockdown period. 
and what are the students' expectations from the teachers and lecturers and professors. By showing the pictures of my life as a teacher, I'll be talking about it so that it will not be monotonous to you. I'm sure you all will enjoy this episode. End of this episode, I'll be adding few video clips of my own old students just to give value addition to this episode. I'm sure you all will enjoy this episode. Try to share, like and give your comments in the channel itself not in my whatsapp all the best special guidelines for teachers and lecturers for managing activities and time amid the lockdown due to covid 19 jiddu krishnamurthy indian philosopher speaker and writer says that teaching is not the mere imparting of knowledge but the cultivation of an inquiring mind. Plan your day in advance. Good to have a to-do list and categorize it to manage all your activities during the working days. Organize and prioritize the activities both your professional and personal ones. Having a routine and get ready for the day. Have dedicated workspace or work zone at home. Unlearning is the new learning. Don't get intimidated by the technology. Learn the features of it thoroughly. Share your experiences both bad and good with your colleagues and work on making online lectures and its delivery process in a better way. Set a good plan for online classes and tutorials. Plan ahead with your school heads or college heads and also with the colleagues on the schedule and efficiently conduct the classes. Send or share study material via relevant medium which is in use in your respective institution to the students ahead of the lectures. During the lectures, ensure content is delivered in a systematic and proper manner. Maintain eye contact with your learners properly. Give clear instructions prior to the lecture so that your routine class runs smoothly and it will be a fruitful one. Keep the sessions interactive. Frequently ask questions to the students to understand whether they have grasped the concepts discussed during the lecture. Frequently interact and connect with the students pre and post lectures during the designated time slot to clarify their queries. It is important to give assignments and evaluate students' performance. For students who require special attention, schedule the meetings with the parents to discuss the points of improvement and keep track of their progress. Organize subject related games and quiz during the sessions at least twice in a month to break down the monotonous classes. Provide necessary updates and feedback to the school and college heads in a timely basis. Plan for any potential issues in advance like students' misbehavior, distractions, misuse of cell phones, etc. It is definitely not easy to manage such situations due to the physical distance. Work with your mentors, HODs 
and resolve such issues. Don't postpone or cancel a class without any strong reason. Plan your work breaks like for lunch, snack, tea time, child care or for cooking or for any other personal work. Plan your leave or day off. It is very important to take leave to relax or unwind and get back to the work with vigor. Take good care of your physical and mental health. Get some exercise, consume balanced diet, keep in touch with family, friends and colleagues, discuss events of the day, happiness and sorrow. If you are going through a stressful day, take some break to rest and then get back to your work. There could be situations when you would be bored of the routine. It is completely fine. Try to look at your work from a totally new perspective and with optimism. Try to utilize the weekend time for your household activities so that your working week is not affected by the following things like purchase of groceries and other essential items for cleaning the house, clothes and other items. Next point is, pursue your hobbies or areas of interest when you find time on weekends. Browse your uh, articles, see YouTube videos for self-improvement on weekends. It is also completely fine to be lazy and to take enough rest on weekends after having a stressful week. Distribute your responsibilities with your spouse, siblings, parents and grown-up children to carry out all the routine activities. All these tips will make teachers and lecturers to perform their duties effectively and also get a lot of satisfaction out of their fruitful work. Expectations of students from teachers and their professors. The expectations board I have taken and explained what are the main characteristics traits they expect the teachers and the professors must have. E for the lecturers, teachers must be elegant, energetic and must have effective communication skills. X for X factor. X factor here is they must be special to become a teacher so that they deliver their goods in the class both in theory and practicals with a lot of interest not just a routine work. So every teacher must have a X factor that is that a teacher is very interested in teaching the students. P is performer. The teacher must have perfection in the subject they deal with. They should be telling some parables to inculcate moral values in students. Must be concerned about their training, hands-on training in the practicals and also for their future jobs. E for empathetic, they must have very good understanding about the student's nature, student's needs, student's issues and how to solve them. And the teachers must be E in that is efficient. They should be very sharp in discharging their duties. Expect C comes here is the teachers must teach the concepts of the subjects properly and must be concentrating on the syllabus first and also in the capacity building of the students so that they become good professionals by having sound knowledge and skills in the subjects they learn. T here stands for the teachers must be talented, 
tolerant and tactable. A here is the teachers must be able to deal with any kind of subject and issues of the students. They must be affectionate and also must be assertive. Assertiveness of the teachers are very, very important. Then only they can instill discipline in students. T, thematic approach is very interesting for the students. They show more interest when the subject is dealt theme wise. The teachers must have very good temperament and also must have testimony of their credentials. I for innovative, the teachers must be innovative and must try to inculcate ethical values of the students. O, o for optimistic, organized and they should provide ample opportunities for students to develop. N, it is the psychological and educational needs of the students, the developmental needs of the students, whether they are in the college or in the schools, teachers must be well aware about it and they should try to meet the developmental needs and educational needs of the students properly. They also must know the nature of the students and they must be navigators to guide them properly. Yes, expectations, last is yes, teachers and the professors must be sincere and sophisticated, must have splendid class. Every class the students should enjoy, they should never get bored of the classes. These are the few things I felt I must be sharing as a senior teacher during this COVID situation. I am sure every teacher, every lecturer, every professor listened to this episode and tried to check their interests, abilities and correct themselves to become efficient and most affectionate teachers to their students so that we remain in the memories of the students forever in their life. Because teachers play very important role in students' life after their parents. That is why I consider myself as an academic parent and I am a godmother of hundreds of students. My students not only include the students who came to the professional degree program, but also the trainees in various extension programs, which I conducted during my tenure. Parents, community. These are the trees. There was a hailstorm few years back and the old trees fell down and the trunks remained, few trunks of the tree. I made them as an educational aid for the students. Students' total development has to be taken care of, all the eight components, their physical fitness, their body language, their intellectual abilities, their socio-emotional competencies, their intellectual capacities, their moral values, their speech and language, abilities and skills, communication skills. So when the teachers and the education system focuses on total development of the students, I am sure these students become very useful citizens and professionals in any field they go.
the education must enhance the total development of the students their knowledge and skills must make them very capable to make their living so the education should be focusing on character building capacity building and should make them economically empowered they should not be dependent on their families in fact they should become economically independent and take care of their parents to reciprocate the parental love and care the education is not confined to the four walls they also teachers must play an important role in community education whenever they have opportunities i was lucky enough to work in agricultural universities where extension education is very important component these are all the alumni of the college when they came they were talking to me like as students certain things which they did not like when they became an adult when they became a parent those things were very important and they were very useful to them they said vishal ma'am you are our role model in our life education also should teach the students for community to take up some community welfare activities so teachers also must work shoulder to shoulder with students so that they have dignity for labor and values they imbibe from the teachers so we should act as role models every moment to them appreciation is very important to teachers business is always telling them that you can do better you can do better that should be our slogan not just making them get 100 out of 100 marks and say that one that is your optimum you need not work more no whatever they do still we have to say that there is no limit for excellence so try hard teachers duty is very pious duty that is why we call vidyalay all it is temple of education the students are our gods the more we care them the more blessings we get in our life they are our true bank balance hello everyone i am rohan varne i am studying mba in pune i was a bsc student of vishala ma'am i would like to tell that ma'am used to share her experiences with us while teaching that was really great to understand things easily she is always tried to make students comfortable i learned being loyal with myself from her each day was a new learning experience experience during her classes for our students are always her priority that students should understand and always learn new ma'am ideas were always unique while teaching and very interesting i learned lifelong lessons from her and she is an always inspiration for me thank you Ms. Jayarinjani, I am working in Nepal, Bangalore as assistant director, and I am proud to say that I am a student of Professor Dr. Vishal Patnam in my MSc. I am very happy and thankful to God for she has been a blessing in my life. I saw Vishal Ma'am as a passionate teacher, great academician, and amazing leader with a set of skills, highly disciplined, well organized, simple, smart, and wonderful human being, exhibiting a perfect combination of sensitivity and firmness. she has been always accessible to the students and played a great role of mentor everybody i am varsha kokate nandedkar from pune i have done msc home science from our esteemed college and later b.ed and m.a english 
Vishala ma'am is a teacher with Midas touch that has emboldened many students to take on the journey of life with more vigor and solve any challenges that are thrown on them. Thank you very much ma'am for being an inspiration, motivation, not only for students but the society also. Hello, I am Dr. Kanchan Deshpande, Principal of a reputed CBSC school in Ahmedabad. Professor Vishala Patnam ma'am. It's indeed a great pleasure to talk about ma'am. Ma'am was my first guide. She laid foundation of research in me. All the courses which she has taught me has brought me uh, to this level in my life. Her guidance really was wonderful for a lifetime. Hello, I am Manisha Bage. I used to work as a program executive in an international donor organization in Mumbai and then as a preschool teacher in Philippines. Right now, I am a homemaker. Vishala ma'am was my guide and mentor in MSc. I remember all her lectures used to be very interesting, filled with very relatable examples, funny anecdotes and day-to-day -day observations. She always inspires me to be a curious thinker and a keen learner. Thank you.